Okay everyone, now we're in downtown of Yerevan, my hometown, and I'm excited to show you some things here that are a lot of fun to explore. So, we are actually now crossing a street, and we are very close to the one of the main, well, the main theater of Yerevan called the Opera Theater. Um, there are a lot of concerts happening here and on a regular basis, and I'm excited to show you a lot of things, so... So you guys, this is the theater that I was talking about. This is called the Opera Theater. It's a very old building actually. And you can see here written also in English on the posters. So any tourist wouldn't get lost in Yerevan, I believe. There are a lot of cool concerts here happening for a lot of people who love classic music or classical music or actually even a lot of violin violin or just a lot of entertainment for kids basically especially in the new year's time you can find a lot of cool and you know wonderful events for kids you guys this is aram Khachatryan, a very well-known composer and this is the statue you guys this is the swan lake it's again in downtown. It's a cool area for anybody to get a rest, actually. And a lot of times, this is not a very quiet place, but actually on the weekends, I find this place kind of quiet. So you see a lot of people actually resting. And this is very close to actually the Northern Avenue, which is the heart of Yerevan. You guys, as you can see, the downtown is really because people are playing music here and you can have a lot of fun if you enjoy music. So this is actually the statue of Arno Babajanian who is a composer, very well known. And yeah, I think it's a really beautiful work of art if you're somebody that likes art. So I would really recommend you come and see yourself. actually enjoy the music you guys actually Yerevan is one of the oldest capitals capital cities of Armenia and if you're looking for a cool old place to visit I think this is the perfect place to visit. So you guys, this is the Northern Avenue from one side and this is one of the most modern places here in Yerevan and you can see the Opera Theatre from here as well and this place actually wasn't looking, didn't look like this in the past they have actually done a lot of repairing. work and yeah, repairing Can you see how cool is this, you guys? What I love about Armenia, and you can write anything. You guys, this is the other side of the Northern Avenue. And if we keep walking here, we go actually to the Republic Square of Yerevan. And this is the opposite side of the Opera Theater, as you just witnessed or seen. And the Republic Square building that we are actually getting close to is actually an old one as well. It has been constructed in, I think, the, in the beginning of 20th century. So it has probably... Good history. Yeah, uh, uh, century's history. Yes. There are a lot of... So a lot of fun for anybody who likes to explore things and to learn Keep about history. old places yeah, and history. It's the Republic Square building you guys and this is the History Museum and once we close, uh, cross the street I'm going to show you a little more of everything. The building as I said has a lot of history.
you guys i thought i would do voiceover and would tell you a little more about the republic square and the building and a little more about the whole area actually the square is surrounded by five major buildings built in pink and yellow tooth which is an armenian stone in the classical style this architectural ensemble included the in, includes the government house the history museum the national gallery the armenian marriott hotel and two buildings that formerly housed the ministries of foreign affairs and transport and communications so the square was originally designed by alexander tamanian in 1924 and actually you can see you can see his statue later in the video as well and the construction of the most of the buildings was completed by the 1950s and the last building the national gallery was completed in 1977 actually the place used to be called the lenin square back during the soviet union and once armenia got its independence from the union actually the square has been the uh, excuse me the statue of the vladimir lenin which was there actually has been removed from the area and during the soviet union there used to be parrots um, twice or even three times in a year and yeah the place used to be completely different and actually it is different now you guys here you can see a chapel from the 13th 13th century and you can see the map that we had back then and here are beautiful patterns interesting patterns on stones which we are very famous for we have a lot of these with crosses and those with crosses are actually called hotchkars and yeah we are very famous for our patterns and for our artwork here is the the flag armenian flag which has never actually changed it's red, blue, and orange. And here is just more interesting information also in English for anybody who likes to explore. Here is the Ararat mountain, a bibli biblical mountain where Noah has landed. And here just you can see more and more interesting information about the country and the map that we have today, which is completely different from the ones that we had in the past. We have lost a lot of land, you guys, but yeah, that's the map today. And here you can see again, it's all also in English, so it's easy for any visitor, which is great. You guys, there you can also see the blazon of Armenian, of Armenia, and there is a lion and an eagle you know both represent power strength and again you can see the flag over it and just a lot of interesting facts to read and you guys i have actually found out that the letters armenian letters alone are very interesting for any visitor or a foreign person because i have been teaching armenian online and just the letters themselves seem so interesting to the tourists and the foreigners. So I would actually ask you guys what you think about the Armenian letters. What do you think? Are they beautiful or are they interesting? Because to me they are really unique and beautiful looking. Here you can see the blazon again.
You guys, these are some of Armenian patterns that you can see in the traditional carpets. You guys, we actually found this cool store in downtown area called Dalan, where you enter and you know there is a cafe i believe once you go through this but anyways we stayed here for a little while and you can see there is just a lot of beautiful traditional there are just a lot of beautiful and traditional gifts and just different things that you could take with you or you could give somebody as a gift you know kitchen plates cups mugs and we even saw a uh, different movie characters or even cartoon characters here and this was a lot of fun to explore the place because I myself didn't know about it and I believe that it's going to be very very interesting for any visitor or a tourist You guys, this is one of the most famous movie theaters of Yerevan. This is called Moscow Movie Theater. And here, I guess, there is some kind of an event happening because there is a crowd here. But, anyways, we wanted to see what's going on, so I believe there is a concert. You guys, the cinema was actually opened in 1936 on the site of St. Paul and Peter's Church, which was demolished, sadly, in the 1930s by Soviet authorities. And in 1983, the building was redeveloped when the facade was decorated with scenes of many Soviet Armenian movies, such as David Beck or Syed Nova. The building was originally designed by architects Tiran Teranian and Gevor Kochar and it was redesigned again in 1960 by again Gevor Kochar and Telman Gevorkian and it is still it still has the same design and it is beautiful what do you think You guys, as you can see, the uh, music was really, really loud and I tried to show you a couple of things around the area of the movie theater and this all the buildings here, actually, they are really old and there is a lot of history behind them. Guys, this is an area that is very close to the main, one of the main conservatories here in Yerevan, Sayat Mola Conservatory. And you can actually have your battle field with this water, it's clean water, and here is actually you guys, this is actually the statue of Zayat Nova, who is one of the main music makers of Armenian music. I will try to link some down below so you can get to know the culture even better. And yeah. the statue of William Sarian who is very famous Armenian writer American. and American well he is Armenian I believe but he, he has actually been living in the United States so you, you may hear some people say that he's actually Armenian American but actually he is a very famous writer and uh, he uh, were from Western Armenia but his parents went to the United States and he lives well in Cascade and this is the statue of Alexander Tamanyan he was actually the one who drew first time the sketch of Yerevan and he has actually put a lot in the Yerevan that we have today the map of it actually <laughs> You guys, 
stairs you could actually go high on cascade you can use the stairs or you can use the elevators inside or uh, escalators but in this vlog i'm actually just showing you the outside of it it's a very beautiful place to be and to actually watch and yeah you can actually take a rest as well it's not that noisy definitely there is no concert happening an unexpected concert so you could actually take a rest there is actually a lot to explore and watch here there is a lot of art as you can see and it's a cool place before it wasn't looking exactly like this but you know there is a lot of artwork as you can see the tea kettle we have the horse we have the two horses over there There's actually a very beautiful view of the whole Yerevan once you go upstairs over the top. But in this vlog, I'm just going to show you from the down part. This was actually one of my favorite places to visit when I was a kid and it's very fun for kids as well to just play around and to have a fun time. You guys, I am back with the voiceover. I hope you enjoyed watching the city. And this is the end of the of the vlog. So I hope to see you in the next video and have a good day. See you. Bye.